the savior. Can you give me a thumbs up for it? Come on in the room. But you're blocked. So bruised. How happy I feel like in my tissue, girl, because I'm <laughs> trying English. So good. It is not easy. We going to Bali. Is this my car? I could have lied. Bali, please. Know that I will. I got a wig in the sink. Go over. Am I gonna do? Yeah, me um tin e. Look at me. Don't mind, come get me. Have I said that I really do like this camera? I was hesitating because of, like I said, the in the past, the image instability that I don't like. I do know that there's a way to fix the image instability. I'm slowing down so I can enunciate put in post, but that would crop me in more, which I don't want. I love that it has inte intelligent autofocus and not excuse me has intelligent movie auto settings something like that so it switches things up automatically which is fantastic in low light in backlight in portrait in this and then i can see it oh my god because i just ain't got the time for stuff to be just whatever and then i love how it just zooms in quickly i'll link it below this is the sony zv1 Right? Is that what this is? I don't know. It's my first Sony. Honey, still some of the stuff is annoying because I want to touch the screen like I do with my Canon and I can't. So I get like irritated because I'm... Uh, anyway, whatever. It's not a big deal. I am about to style this wig that I have had for almost two years now. Maybe even three. I told you before, I used to make my own wigs. Literally sew them together years ago. I'm talking six years, seven years ago. And of course I stopped when I realized like AliExpress, hello. And I just got over it, I'm just over it. So the time that it takes to do long things when it comes to hair turns me off. I used to do all that and I'm turned off by, is this lens dirty? Ugh. So that's why I never styled this. And I had other wigs that I would use, so I just didn't need to. I wanna wear this short wig now, like what the heck? I wanna give it some beach waves. I wanna do something to it. It's really dark. I had ideas to lighten and bleach. Honey, I just don't want to do all that. I don't care to do those things anymore. So I'm about to style that. I have my flat iron already just ready to go. And then I got my hair wax stick. I'm about to do that. But I do have a gift that I got in from, you know, when I get gifts in the mail, I just feel so happy. I love gifts. That's why I give gifts all the time. That is why I give gifts because I love to receive gifts. Well, I got a gift. Another one actually, I feel like she has sent me. Yeah, you sent me a card before I sent. Anyway, so one of my amazing subscribers sent me a gift and I'm about to open it. Let's see. I wanted to open it on camera because it's fun. Like, why not? I've had this for maybe a week now. Wait! Did you give me some time for it? Hold on. I was like, wait, yeah, what is that? Girl, what is this you shouldn't have? Oh! Soleil Blanc! The Shimmering Body Oil Duo! You know I actually have this fragrance. I haven't worn it in years. What? So Sephora gave me, first of all, thank you so much. Sephora gave me a gift card for one of my birthdays three years ago. It's four, four, excuse me. Sephora Squad, four? Anyway, and then I used it toward my first Tom Ford fragrance, which was Soleil Blanc. I think the C is, is silent. It's French. And I like it, but I wasn't like over the moon. Now I have like 50 fragrances, right? But I always knew that that was like a staple. Like I always knew that that was, and some people layer. I don't like to layer. I just like to just wear the fragrance myself. I know it's good. I just recall it being very soft. So it's been a while since I've actually used my Soleil Blanc fragrance. And now I have the fragrance oil duo. You know, I've been into these fragrance oils. I say fragrance oil because my friend from a long time ago, I remember we were doing our own photo shoots. She brought this one with her. This gotta be it. Yeah. She brought this one with her and we used it. This was way before I was full time, all this. And I remember being like, dang, that thing is good. I always felt like, what? That, is, that joint is off the chain. And I didn't have the money to buy it. I just, you know, I just made note of it like, dang, girl, you got some good stuff, you know? So, oh, and I've never smelled. Okay. Let me go back to Soleil Blanc. Let me smell this. I'm trying to be careful because my nails. Let me get it out. Oh, girl. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Yes. A nice Travel's eyes. You know, I have the, the MFK one, two. Oh, I just, I recently sprayed on my body, bury her, and I keep on smelling it. 
So anyway, I know that I have that on, so it won't interfere with this. Let me smell it one more time because I need a refresher. My hands are dry. What is going on here? Oh, I can't open it? Do I not have this dry? What? Is it because my nails? Oh, I can't even open it. Okay, so I'll put it on the... Did I spray, Did I spray fragrance on my hand? I think I sprayed fragrance on my hand. Shoot, my hand is still bruised from the surgery. Wow, it's still... It's just the hyperpigmentation. No, it doesn't hurt me anymore. It's just the hyperpigmentation. Dang. I sprayed it on my hand. Shoot, I want to... Okay, my arm is clear, I think. I want to get a sense of the shimmer and the scent again. Okay. So I just sprayed it. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice shimmer. So it... I mean, you can't see. You can't see that. I put it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do like this. I just, ha it's been like three years, literally, that I smelled it, so I just forgot. I do like it. It's soft. I like this. Look at me. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo! No, I like it. I gotta go back to this. This is giving me very much summer beach sand vacation. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So, like, blonde? Hello. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. Yep, I'm gonna go back to that. And I like how this is a spray actually, because then it doesn't have to go on my hand and then rubbed in. I can just spray it onto the body and then rub it in. So it makes it easier. Oh, and let's smell Soleil Neige. Soleil Neige, how you say it? Ooh, I've never smelled this one. So this arm, nothing is on here. Let's give it a spray. Okay, I didn't spray a lot. Okay, it's giving, it's giving a silver frost, but not so much that I won't, that I don't think it'll look good on me. Yeah, it's just a, sub, a subtle shimmer. Interesting. This one is more like a, uh, like a shower gel. This one's giving more shower gel. So fresh out of the shower. And this one is giving like, we going out. We going to dinner, some sultry, sexy. So this was Soleil Blanc, and this is Soleil Neige. It's more, it's more fresh. Maybe coconut or like it smells like clean, fresh, just clean, fresh. Ah, maybe like a lemon. Huh, interesting. Mm, 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 mm. Interesting. Okay, now I'm gonna rub the rest of my hand because I don't know where else to put it. The more I'm getting. Burberry her is messing me up. Anyway, I I love these hyacinth. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. 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 I really appreciate. It. Let me let me text her right now. She's in my text community. And if you're not already in it, you should join the text community. You know what I'm saying? It's a community app, literally, that I use, and you they have a phone number there and. Yeah, she's in the text community. And by the way, we're going to Bali. Unlimited spots available. Let's go. Sign up for Bali. You can put a deposit down and pay little by little. And uh, anyway, I'm about to text her. This is so, so sweet. I appreciate that. Listen, I will be shimmering all 2023. I'm just trying to tell you something. Between all of these body oils, you can't talk to me. You can't talk to me. You really can't. Okay, let me. Where's my Where's my phone? How am I going to test if I don't have my phone? What's God? All that I need, but to actualize it, I came down. No doubt. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got another message. <laughs> oh, yes, Mina. I'm happy for you. I had a tummy tuck done three years ago. It was the best thing I could have done. I had three children. My stomach was very flabby. I actually have a picture with a huge piece of my skin. I'm going to ask my doctor, actually, how many pounds of skin and fat. I'm just curious. Was removed. I actually have a. I didn't do. I didn't do liposuction. I, I too was curvy with a small waist. Only thing is, I didn't do my breasts. Mine were deflated as well. The one thing is, when I had went on, I had wait two huge hernias. So mine turned medically. So I actually got a refund. Oh, one thing is, I had to pay was reposition the belly button. He actually tightened my abdomen muscles, so it looked good, like I had a six pack. Oh, what it? What is? A speech to text. It'd be it'd be messing up. Oh, they gave her an ab medicine so she didn't have paper five days. Okay. But when I let it go, look, I was like, 
uh, look look like I was gonna have a baby. Yeah, when I mean, you let the summer go, you're gonna look amazing. When I put a two piece bathing suit on for the first time in many many years, I feel so good and so beautiful. My son said, "Mom, listen, you will, we we are all going to the beach to have fun. Oh, I ain't trying to break, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to be breaking up jigga, breaking a jigga up <laughs> about my mom." My daughter was like, "Mom, you look so hot." She's a dime. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you were 55 when you had yours? You better. Mm -hmm. She's part of the Vivian Fine Club. I love to see it, okay? Ooh, I had lymphatic drain as well. It definitely was necessary to have that done. I love to hear it. Listen. Listen, I love to... Is it recording? I even have this on now. Listen, I love to hear it. I love to hear the whole thing. And listen, the kids be knowing. The kids be knowing that this is Bobby's time, okay? I love to hear it, and I am so excited. I am so happy. I cannot even explain it. I knew that, that I, this would make me happy, but you know, you just don't know until you know. And I love that you got a refund. That's number one. And I'm just, listen, I'm here for the whole thing. I am so, so, listen, I, I can't even, I can't even explain it. I celebrate anyone doing whatever they want to do. Okay. That's what's important. Cause listen, people are dying every second. Okay. So I am just excited that you did what you had to do and you are living your best life until, until the Lord calls you home. And that is what is important. I celebrate you, girl. Mm -hmm. You you look you probably looking younger and better than me. Listen, <laughs> and I like to send voice messages whenever I can because it just is more personal. And sometimes people be feeling like it's fake. I don't know. Maybe they feel like it's not me or it's not real. this came out i don't know why this took me ages to do that's annoying i didn't do anything to the front of the lace which just goes to show you that this lace is really really good it is dark it is black so it's looking very wiggy i still have not i did pluck a little bit but the lace itself is so brown i don't know how they did that i'm about to go buy this wig again the lace itself is so brown i have not done anything to this wig i bought it years ago let me see if i can find the link okay all links will be below I am, however, going to put my foundation right here or maybe my contour, maybe the foundation right here so that it can look lighter because right now it's just looking like, what the hell? I look a hat <laughs> and we don't want hats, okay? But I like my curls, I, yes. I don't know if these are gonna stay well or whatever, but I like it. It's a cute four by four and I don't even have on the wig grip. I just threw this on. I have not done a thing to my edges. I just threw it on to see what I want and I love. So of course it's not even forward enough, you know, like all the things, but this looks so cute. I needed a short option. I'd be so sick and tired of that long one. It's annoying. It's, it's too long all of that. You feel me? Now I need to shower, do my makeup. Mm, I don't know if I have enough time to do the try and haul. Yo, try and haul take time. I got like 10 dresses. No, I got like eight. <sighs> I'm not gonna have enough time, I don't know. I can film other videos, not the try and haul, because what I don't want to do is start and stop, that's annoying. Because then I'd have to read, like it's just dumb. So what I can do is film a makeup video and then perhaps two other videos that are not the try and haul. We'll see what I come up with. But I'm glad I finally styled this hair. I think it's so pretty. Hello, spring. Good morning. So, <laughs> so this week is the week that I posted the two episodes of, I don't know how many episodes, but this is my life journey now, so it's really going to be a lot. But the two episodes so far of my surgery progress or the surgery journey, and I am, I don't know if I said this before, but I am just so, so, so blown a freaking way. And I'm, I am, I have been reflecting on all of it the whole entire time, even before I even shared it. But I am reflecting now and I'm just in awe because I recognize that when I posted it, I posted it and I knew that I felt like I was on the defense. I, my posture was defensive. And I know that even in my uh, 
message or the comment that I put in the hint, I knew that I was on the defense. And I was trying to balance protecting my emotions, but also being vulnerable because it's a vulnerable thing to share. And just to see the outpouring of support blows my freaking mind. I knew that y'all were going to be interested and intrigued, but I could not have imagined the level of interest and intrigue and support and care. I know that I have a lot of people here who care. I know that because I see it every day and it just blows my mind. It touches my heart because we don't even know each other, but you feel like you know me and I appreciate that, right? I appreciate the connection, all of it. Like lots of things y'all share with me privately and, and I share things online too. So I'm, I never take that for granted. What I'm trying to say is I'm so touched and blown away at the level of support and just sweet things that y'all keep saying in my, in my DMs are blown up. Do you hear me? And I'm just loving responding to all, if not as many people as I can, because it just feels like a, a celebration. And I've being careful with my words because and I'll explain. I've I was hesitant. I always knew that I would share. I always knew in July I would share. That's why I had a video from July. Okay, so I always knew in July that I was going to share. But I obviously because this is the internet was nervous because of how mean and rude and aggressive people can be when we humans share personal things. I was expecting some sort of blowback, but to be honest, like I've shared many times and I'm not afraid to say it, I have filters on my, on my platforms. It's terrific. So I can't see a lot of foolery. I can go look for it and see what people are saying, but I never do because I'm not interested in becoming angry. There was one initial comment that annoyed me and I blocked her. Bless God. God loves you, but you're blocked. Because I'm just not here for that. You see, I could have lied. I could have lied. I've lost weight in addition to the surgery. So I could have lied to y'all, and y'all would have known I was lying, but I don't care. People a lot of the time, they know they know you know they're lying, but they just keep it up because they're like, I don't care. So I could have just been like, yeah, I've lost weight, and I lost weight in my tummy, and like, what? Because I have literally lost weight since, even when I was editing the vlog, from the way I looked before surgery and now, like, wow, I was really fluffy, you know? So I could have lied. I could have avoided. I could have ignored. I could have done all kind of things and not told y'all. And y'all have been like, yo, what's the tea? Like, why ain't she saying it, right? And I know how annoying and evasive that is. And I, of course, don't want to ever be that person. So I wanted to be honest because I am very happy. This is nothing to hide. This is, I am, I am very, oh my God, I couldn't be happier. You feel me? But with that, of course, I had some hesitance, like, well, you know, what, like, what people gonna say? What people gonna say? Am I gonna regret sharing this? Whatever. And I don't regret it thus far, which makes me very, very happy. So, what I'm trying to say is, I really am so grateful for all of the kind words. Some of the stuff is so funny, y'all yelling at me, and I know, I know, I know, I am that person. I am a warrior. I saw my mom through all her pain, through all her ailments, through all her everything taking care of the four of us, three of the three of us, my older brother is really older, so taking care of us and working and just being so tired and weak and still doing it. We learn a lot from our caregivers, those who raised us, a lot of it without words, just from seeing, and I am much like my mother. So what is rest? It doesn't exist. So when you see me literally an hour after surgery talking on camera out of breath, that is just me. That is just my heart. That is just me. I wanted to share raw reaction. I wanted to share. And if it's cringy, I get it. Even when I was watching back, I'm like, wow, I was literally just out of surgery talking like this. You feel me? The same day walking because I had to avoid blood clots. I was following my aftercare protocol, which I know is alarming. I know it's alarming. I get it, right? Anyway, I am just so grateful for the kindness and the grace from the messages that I'm getting and seeing. I don't take that for granted because the harsh stuff is part of why a lot of us content creators will not say things. 
will not share things. We'll lie. We'll pretend. We'll evade. We'll not. We'll share some and not all. Just all the things. This is the internet. It is a wild, wild world. It is a wild, wild world. People can be so hurtful. And that's why I have filters on my content. So I, I just want to say that I'm very grateful. I'm grateful for all of you who feel so touched in. You know, when I look and I see the comments, like, you know, I had tears in my eyes watching this and all that. I'm just like, wow, the amount of care, the amount of care that you have for me, having not even seen me, but just feeling me through the, the video and just feeling so close to me in that way, I don't take it for granted. And I never shed a tear through this whole process. I'm just, I am, I'm a warrior in that way. When I'm going through something, you know, I, I, I don't even have time to feel emotional right now. But I can't lie, there was a time where I was driving home and I, I started to tear up and I, I just held it back. Because I was thinking about, wow, how happy. And even now, as I'm saying this, I'm getting choked up. I was, uh, I was just thinking about, wow, you know. How How happy I feel like in my tissue, girl, because I just did my makeup and I got work to do today, okay? How happy I feel in the body that I have always wanted. I mean, I've always been curvaceous. I've always been chubby. I was chubby growing up. I used to be teased. I've always had curves. You know, I was made fun of in school as a child. I mean, haven't we all been made fun of? But I was made fun of in school as a child because of my butt and all this. And obviously as a grown woman, this is like a desirable body, you feel me? But my tummy has always been a problem for me. And then after having the greatest gift that God could ever give me, my child, I was all worth it. Every last second of it was worth it. Having my, my, my blessing that I have. And then the aftermath of that diastasis. I mean, I already had a pooch and now it's like, wow, I'm, I'm looking four months for the rest of my life. And then the breast, you know, I breastfed for two years straight. I did it with a smile. It was my greatest achievement in the whole world. I had prayed for it and God granted my prayer. He granted it. God granted me my prayer. And I'll never forget that. So then to have the aftermath of the mom body, you know, the mom body that I embraced, that I made do with, you know, I made do with it, you feel me? I would still dress, I would still shop, I would still come on camera, I would show y'all, because I was like, I'm not hiding, you know? You saw that video I put on Reels to explain that when I found out that I had diastasis, I was like, you you know you lying. Like, it was more like, you know, you, I, what was, what was the acronym? I, 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 K, I, K, Y, F, L. I was very much like, <laughs> I, K, Y, F, L, you feel me? And then I had to sit with that. I was like, wait, so you mean to tell me that nothing is going to get this away? It don't matter how much keto. It don't matter how much, you know, like, don't come and tell me about these exercises. I don't want to hear it. Like, this needs to be fixed surgically. I've always had a chubby tummy and now it's just worst. Worst. Excuse me. Worse. <sighs> so, you know, I was like, I'm getting the surgery and I don't give a damn what anybody got to say. But of course, I was putting it online. And that is a little bit scary. And I am just overwhelmed with the gratitude that, because you see, when you allow people to live in their truth, whether you like it or not, you allow them to continue to live in their truth, whether you like it or not. I know when I watch people's content, I'd be like, okay, now she lying, or she, she did something she didn't tell us, you know, or whatever. And it's like, well, you know, that really is her choice. You know, I can't force anybody to do anything. I wanna be honest and open and I'm just grateful that I can do that because I see that y'all ain't gonna tear me down. You feel what I'm saying? And who, uh, people just wanna be themselves. And if it feels like everyone's getting surgery now, shaking my head, well, it just is what it is. Just like everyone's wearing makeup now. Like, we all know what it is now. The times have changed. It's 2023, we have the money now. We It's more widely talked about now. It's not 
it's not in a corner somewhere or in a in a factory or you know in some random hotel room but injections it's not that anymore it's it's above the table it's all the information is out there usually and people are being honest about it so when you allow us to be honest we go uh, for me you allow me to be honest i'll be honest you feel me when it start looking a little hazy that's when it starts to be like oh did she and i'm not gonna say anything you feel me so i'm just grateful Ah, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I, I praise God. I, I give God all the absolute glory from beginning to end for my whole entire life. I will never stop saying that. The Lord is always by my side. He is continue. He continues to be by my side. He has held my hand through every single thing that has transpired in my life from, from birth till now. And he will always be by my side. So in all of this, I was, I was peaceful. I was like anxious and like excited to do it. I was peaceful. I knew that God had me and he really has me. He has, he has, it's a continual thing. You feel me? It's a continual thing. So I just praise God. I thank, I thank the Lord and I thank all of you for your support and just allowing me to make this decision and not make it like, a, uh, you know, like all you influencers are getting shitty. Like, yeah, and we getting the money to pay for it. So like, allow me to be myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. Like, you know, simple. You feel me? So. Hi, good morning. And this is what we've been doing lately. I'll show you. Hold on. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. I'm gonna fix it when it when it loosens up. So I don't know what this machine is called, but it literally feels and I explained this in another another vlog too. It literally feels like a uh, blood pressure machine it tightens and then it loosens so this is the machine right here she can make it tighter or looser part of it is like what <laughs> but it's supposed to help and i think it has been helping all the different things that she's been doing has been helping and i know she's going to do that with therapy again today oh god i gotta just prepare myself because it is not easy it is just simply not easy so we do this for 10 minutes now and then she does the wood and hand therapy with the oil and then I'll be done she'll do the front some laying down in the back I usually ask for the heater the space heater but the other side is full so a lot of a lot of a lot of procedures because for the past month that I've been coming it is not full like that so people have been getting some surgeries okay so the other side is full so I'm on this side now and she said that the space heater is over there in use of course it's in use this, this building is cold and but not the end or so they do put the heated blanket on underneath so that is helping i'm just a very cold person and i hate being cold literally hate being cold so let me just shift a little bit yeah all right i'm gonna lay here and listen to listen to something in my ears How they gonna back up? Oh, I didn't do a good job. I shouldn't have turned in here. <laughs> this place is tight. I mean, it's a tight spot. Uh, let's see what we gonna do. We doing ballet, you know how it goes. Hi, sorry. Tight spot, ballet, please. And the keys in the car. Alrighty. Okay. Thank you very much. When I come in town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby. I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time. If you lie with me, just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good. good. Know it's all love. Bye, thank you. Oh, it is brick out here, yo. Hmm, that machine, what was that called? That was endermology she was doing. The pain, the suction on my skin, still certain parts of my skin, especially my back that hurt. But even the areas that aren't hurting from the procedure, 
the suction just still hurts. I mean, think about it. Think about you just, your skin being sucked like that. It, you gonna open? Hey, bless God, I gotta get closer. You're not gonna do, I need a new battery for my key. I can't do, I cannot do this, right? Is this my car? Thank you. Not me looking all, ah, uh, get my keys. Not me looking like I'm about to steal a car. I hate this when my key does this to me. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> If you're in public and your key doesn't work, and you look like you're trying to steal a vehicle. This bun is so tall to maneuver myself just to friggin' get in the car. But yeah, so I hate this. This key is getting my nerves. And when I went to BMW to get my, what you call it? I need hand lotion. I didn't put on hand lotion when I was in the in the bathroom but you know what i need a moisturizing one not an oil-based one because my hands are dry now you see if you if your hands are already wicked dry if you put on something oil-based for me if i put on something oil-based it'll still feel dry versus if i put on something that's gonna give me some hydration some water i'll feel satisfied so uh that thing hurt okay she was doing endermology and um, i forget what else she said was it radio Fre was she doing radio frequency something ah i don't even know but i know that the endermology was a recommendation from my doctor so i believe that was part of what she was doing yo the pain and then so it was the suction first then it was the it wasn't sucking anymore it was just like rubbing on my body with the tool the machine and then it was the hand massage so ah uh, i couldn't wait for her to do the hand part i was like god please i didn't say anything because i want to just let it be because i'm just trusting that this is what they're supposed to do well my god that was painful okay and i i also noticed maybe some week Mm, four weeks so a week or so ago that under my left breast the garment is or the the stuff that i'm wearing it's pushing up on my breast so it's making it indented and i realized that my torso may be standard or short i don't know and everything when i sit if i'm not taking care i'll be like like that so it'll be sitting on the thing and it's wedging into my breast. So I have to sit up straight, first of all, or stand up straight at all times, but then also be conscious to push down the whole garment situation because otherwise it's pushing up into under my breast and then leaving a, it's leaving a dent under this breast. So I, even today when I put this on, I made sure I pushed it down and I just can't wait to take this off. I'm just sick of this. I just, I'm just so sick of this. I really, Lord Jesus, tomorrow when I go to the doctor, I pray that she will agree that it's been, it's been, it's been real. You feel me? And then I'm going to go to stage two because I had the stage two on yesterday just for a brief period and it was just so comfortable. It was tight. I felt, I felt sucked in, which is great, but it's just better than wearing this. So I'm just sick and tired of it. This Wednesday will be five weeks and my 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 i cannot wait okay i did my makeup today i had to film two campaigns one was a skincare one one was a, a makeup one beauty one later one i mean they're all beauty and then i did my face because when i get home i need to i need to work i have so many ideas i'm excited and i just need to do them not only that i have videos like it's just a lot of things you know trial hauls <sighs> you know tiktoks just like all this stuff so i'm excited to already have my makeup done so that i can just hit the ground running when i get home versus i fade now i need to go and do my makeup like it's just too much you know and y'all grew and y'all grew up you're looking so good to say i don't know oh my home my home picture so i'm on the yard so i'm on the yard wow <laughs> well, because hey, hey men now. Uh, today, I say, oh, my, my, my man, it will say, Miss Minna, please continue to let us have it. We are your plantains, please fry us. Oh. <laughs> 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 Coco, 
English. Good morning. Yes, good morning. 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 Good This is the fit. I love this fit. So simple and cute. So I'm about to change, but I wanted to show you I have on my skims underneath it. It looks like my skin, obviously, and the shorts. You can see it, but yeah. So let me change right now. Oh my God. Yo, that went so well. <laughs> Oh my God, that went so well. And I just love, listen, it hits differently when you pay your hard earned money to do a procedure like this and you still, am I in focus? It, hey, not a, please. To the one of my people on our part. Listen, it hits differently when you pay your hard earned money for a procedure like this. And this is not when yet. When yes, when you pay your heart or money for something like this, and all you have to say are good things, I just love this team, Dr. Sato, Adrian, Savannah. Everybody has been so great. And listen, one thing about me, I will, I will call out what a problem is. I will call it out. That you ain't gotta ask me. Okay, I will call it out. All right, and they've been fantastic. So the great thing is, I am officially off of the surgical garment like the one that you know was on me when i got up the table and i was calling the skims one stage two it's not stage two but it, it is what i'm gonna wear now like literally i have it on right now and that's when i am cleared to wear right now because it's time and i'm sick and tired of the other one and i feel better in this one already and it was so hard to put on earlier but i realized that the reason why it was so hard is because i had just lotioned my skin so my skin was buttery my skin was mad buttery you feel me and it was mad hard to put on and i was so worried about taking it off and putting it back on again because at the appointments you got to get naked for them to see you and let me tell you who is so confident being naked listen mm -mm. You know how you oh, oh, go. Uh -oh. You know how you back at the doctor's office, and then you know they knock on the door, and you're all like, "Oh, just a second, just a second. Uh, uh, honey, come on in the room. Come on in the room. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> come on in the room. You feel me? Mm -mm. We got a show going on. Okay. The confidence is on a million. Okay. It's on a hundred thousand. So anyway, that happened. But I'm excited to be able to get out of that other garment because it was pushing. I told you under my breast. And then if I put both arms up straight, I have some poofiness, like swelling that happens right under here. And she's like, yeah, that could turn into scar tissue. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I got to tell my masseuse when I go on Thursday, mommy, please, let's get that down. She said they got to do some aggressive massaging in that area. And I can't lie, when I shower, I'm going to be massaging that area too, because what? I don't want that to develop anything ridiculous okay so that's a lesson learned right there is that that got me dropping things it was pushing me pushing me up and pushing you know and so there's a part of my hips that i had a question about whether or not it was going to go down and it's still swollen so i'm like okay good that's going to go down and i trusted that it would too but i just had to get clarification so that is going to go down which is great i look amazing and i feel stupendous i feel stupendous so one thing i didn't realize is that i'm supposed to be doing the reform lotion the scar treatment twice a day i didn't realize that i was just doing it once after i showered but now i know to put it on twice a day. So now I will go back to my showering twice a day, which I love to do. And then it's just in my mind as a routine to put it on after I shower. So boom, I love hearing that. And this, it was so much easier to put on now after my lotion had dried, that now I'm like, yeah, I'll wait a little bit before I put it on because it was way easier to put on. I just feel better about showering, knowing that I don't have to put on all, it's like packing peanuts. Like I gotta pack myself like a UPS box. Like it just, yo man, after five weeks, it just does something to you, man, I swear. It just traumatizes me to even wanna shower because I'm like, oh, gotta go put all this on and then I gotta be squeezing myself into that thing. So I feel so good knowing that now I am free at last. I, I believe, listen, we talk so much, my head be spinning. I think what she said was, that I am free to not wear anything. 
like I'm free now to just not wear anything. However, uh, I care about my investment, so I'm gonna wear this skims situation for the most part, like all the time. But when I go to the gym, like I, I don't wanna be sweating in this. And then of course when I get home and I shower, you know, I'll put it on. I'll put it on. So uh, yeah, because I want to continue to mold myself very nicely. So that we that we excited, you know. Oh my god. Okay, bye. I'm home now, and I'm about to film because I have something that is due. So uh, it's very dark outside, cloudy, rainstorm happening, all the things. And this place is very dark. And on a day like this, in my previous setup, I would have not been able to film or I would have been stuck to only having the option of using my bathroom because I have daylight bulbs in there and then a ring light that I use in front of my camera. However, I like to film here. And let me show you how amazing this light is because it's gonna light up my, it's gonna light up my situation in the best way. Let me show you what it looks like on me, meaning, what the camera, why is it so tight? What the camera is gonna look like on me. So for your reference, this is how dark it is outside. This is how I look right now. Now, I don't know how to work this remote. This is a very technical light, okay? We did the best we could, we got it on, all right? It's on and that's what's important. <laughs> I don't know how to work this. So I'm gonna figure that out one of these days in my lifetime. How let me turn my mic on because that is always something I never want to forget is to turn on the daggone mic. Okay. Now let me go turn the light on. I can't use the app, but you gotta pair it and do all this. Let me get up and go turn the light on, and you'll see the difference. And the light is only on 14%, although I had it on 10% one time. So do you see the difference? And yes, the back is looking dark but i'm actually into that vibe i've filmed i have filmed two videos in the dark as of as up up until now up until, up until this point and when i look back at them i'll see how i feel about it but i think it's something that i am gonna like i'm actually enjoying my ponytail just being haphazard yeah. instead of well curled and stuff. I actually enjoy this. So now I'm gonna fix the settings on my camera. So I look how I wanna look, like as bright as I to. Some videos I feel like can be vibey with it being dark like this. But for this particular video, I would just, I would like for it to be brighter. Shoot, it's looking like it's six in the morning right now and it's literally 11.30. I should have filmed this on the weekend, but I didn't. Oh, dude. Okay, then that means I will need to go into the bathroom, which is okay, because in the bathroom, it's brighter. It's not going to give this warm, you know, like, for what I'm about to do, I want to see myself more. Okay, let me turn off this microphone. And, and here's the thing, I have a setup here, and I have a setup in the bathroom. So it's just a matter of taking this camera down. I'm going to put a new battery inside, too. The battery has two out of four, so it's got half battery life. I don't like when my battery acts stupid mid-filming, so I'm going to just change it to put a full battery in. This is a I'm messy right now because of this morning when I was getting ready to go, you feel me? I like this two-piece. It fits me so well. Oh my gosh. It feels, it feels weird. I am still to pack my belly button, although she gave me instructions on using something to form the belly button, like a circle or something like that. I can't remember because there's so much that we talk about in that. 10, 15 minutes that I, I asked again later and I'll get a phone call to just recap what I'm supposed to do with the belly button. But very soon, if not now, but very soon I'll be moving to, let me turn on this ring light. Gives me extra light right here. Very soon I'll be moving in here. You've seen my setup in the bathroom, right? This is what I'm referring to. My setup these days is very simple, way simpler than it used to be. As I was growing, trying to figure things out, I have accumulated, I have accumulated so many things and now I realize what I really need and what I don't. So, you know, I gave away my TV monitor, two of my, no, I've given away four out of the six LED lights that I had. I mean, I've just accumulated so many things. I've made my setup very minimal and I love the way that it is. So I've got a charger here that I always keep plugged in. And then I take the batteries 
Like I'll keep the battery on the kit, but the battery is not pushed in necessarily because if it's charged, it's charged. I'm not trying to kill my batteries by charging it 24 seven, but I keep them ready. I have several batteries so that when I need it, I got it. Now Faye and I gotta go charge a battery and wait and stop what I'm doing. No, 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 no. So the batteries are always ready and now I'm fixing my settings and making sure that the frame is how I want it to be, you feel me? And I would have liked to be sitting down in the living room, but like I said, here we are. Let's see. So I need to turn down the, the settings a little bit. I know you see it. Do you hear the rain? It is storming outside. It's 11 o'clock and it looks like nighttime. I got my remote and my situation. I am. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of that whole foam situation. I was so tired of it. Ooh, we is tired of you. We is tired of you. The mic is on. I always double check that it's plugged in because the last thing I need is to film a video, a sponsor one at that, and then they saw me, right? Because, wow, to try to go back, sponsored or organic, to try to go back and give the same energy that you gave the first time is so painful. My, my point tail is like cricket, but I like it in some way. Is this thing like being yoked up under my arms i don't know this fits me well it's just it keeps on moving okay i need to focus i'm hungry too what time is 11 30 is even time to eat all righty let me see they're gonna pull what do i make up okay i gotta yo i got empties i'm so i'm kind of distracted because it's so dark outside i have one hour and 15 minutes to do this and then i need to also eat and i need to like I need to also eat. Okay, I need my tissues. I gotta make some more. My paper towels, you know, I cut them because I use paper towels quite often with my makeup routine. And here's the printout of what I'm doing. There's a lot going on right now. I, oh my God, I had to get rain, get rain. I had to get gas in the rain and it's windy and rainy. So thank God I had this sweater jacket in the back because that puffer doesn't have a hood. And to hold an umbrella in the wind trying to pump gas is a no. Like an umbrella in the wind is just an absolute no. You know how it is. So I put the sweater thing over my head as I was pumping gas. Come and see chaos. It was so windy and the rain was blowing at an angle. So I was blowing and I'm like, this is atrocious. But I gotta get this video done, you feel me? I'm on a roll right now. So I always cut these and I use them for various reasons. And then I put down two of these. One is like miscellaneous and then they're both just for, for, for my brushes. I've been needing to just rub things off. You know, if you watch my videos, you know. And let me wash this beauty blender because it is used. Oh, is my nail coming off? Stop. Okay, no. All right. Oh, it looks like it wants to. I mean, I didn't do these in the most fabulous way. Cause I'm even getting tired of my nails sometimes. These need to come off, okay. But I keep a stash, you feel me? I keep a stash of nails cause I like to take them off and put them on as I see fit, you know what I'm saying? So here I am using Dial Antibacterial Soap to wash the, and that is a cheap, effective way to wash these sponges, honey. Very cheap. And you wanna be using something antibacterial. Hello, bacteria, duh, the face. Why, hi. It works very, very well. So here we go. I wonder if I should go to the gym tomorrow. What's tomorrow? This is crazy. Ooh, oh my God. I popped this pimple in the middle of my <laughs> my eyebrows because it was annoying me. It was very white and you can see it. It was white and it just looked gross. And I didn't realize that it pussed out a little bit. I need to wipe it, it looks nasty. See, this is what I do. I be singing and be getting distracted. You're constantly moving toward me with open arms. I've never known a love like yours. Oh, I've never known a love like yours. Yeah, yeah. I've never known a love like yours. Oh, no, no. I've never known a love like yours. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. 
Jesus, what a Savior, what a brother, what a friend you are. Wow, it is thundering outside. Of the lowly God, you need me yes, where I am. Your heart, oh, it knows no bore. Look at me, I got my paper right here in front of the mic. I'm so annoyed. Okay, everything's plugged in. Are we ready to go? My check one, two, one, two. My check one, two, one, two. Yo, why? No, I'm supposed to be here. I'm on the verge of having a cold, so that didn't really project the way that it normally would. So ignore how that sounded. Although even despite that, even in even in spite of, you feel me, it was what it needed to be. I know y'all at work. I know y'all at work listening to me. You feel me? Y'all at work getting a good laugh in. You feel me? I know. Yo, if you're at work laughing watching this video comment and let me know because i know y'all be at the workplace y'all be at the workplace with the big man and y'all be over here watching my videos knowing good and well they monitoring all your online activity anyway so we might have company you feel me like it might not just be me and you it might be me and you and the tech team you know because they be looking at your online work you know, search history, unless you're smart enough to pull it up on the phone and then hide the phone. Not me giving y'all strategy. <laughs> Hi. I need more warmth in this video. In my, in my, uh, you know, my thing. This is too dark though. I don't want to look too, I want the video itself to look too dark. Right here is tight, right in the middle. It's part of the massage because you know, it's, it's sutured all the way down, so it just feels really tight right here in the middle. In the middle. See, I need a song. Everything needs to be a song. And I don't know a song that has the word middle in it. Therefore, I feel very distraught. I know that I will always persevere over triumphs and triumphs <laughs> yeah i will survive i want to go to a poetry slam you know poetry was my thing when i was younger first i was afraid i was petrified i knew that i always let not live without you by my side Wow, mm -mm. the key. Yeah. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back on a horse. Yo, when y'all watch this video, the actual video I'm about to record, remember this behind the scenes. God, wait, wait, help me, help me. I would stumble. Is it stumble? I don't know. I would, would I lay down and die? I would lay down and die. No, no, I. Wait, and no, no, I. What's the key? Oh, uh, no. Wow. Um, I will survive. How is it? How is it? No, that's the key. That is it. That is it. Hello, no. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? I changed the whole song. I just changed it. You know, I just did whatever my heart led me to do. You know, this is just how, this is, this is the problem. This is the problem. I got a wig in the sink. I got old, crusty garment foams that need to go in the trash. I got empties that I want to show you, but I, can you see? <laughs> that I want to show you. <clears throat> you see, now I'm overextending my throat. 
Let me go down a register in order to make this more comfortable for me. I've got empties that I want to show you that I have not gotten to. Praise be. I've got now 35 minutes. No. What? Math. To film this video. And I am hungry. Mm -hmm. And it is almost time for me to have lunch. And I'm getting more messages. I like that. I like this actually. I am getting messages and I have probably 25 emails that I need to respond to and this camera is overheating. Sony, you irritate me. I need to go to the studio and get the products that I'm going to put in this video. But I don't want to go and get it. I wish I already had it here. But I didn't put it here, and I need to be here, so now what am I gonna do? <laughs> Yo, if you don't enjoy yourself, what are you doing in this world? Why are we here? What are we doing? Are you having fun? Are you enjoying your life? My breasts look smaller than they used to be. Just want to say, I feel like with the lift, I did lose some breast. But I'm okay with that. I have I like how I am. But just FYI, I'm okay with it though. It ain't no problem for me. It ain't no problem, problem. Blah. It ain't no issue for me. I like it. They're, they're perky, but I can't lie. I miss how high up they were and how swollen. I miss how swollen they were. So then when I saw that, I was like, maybe I do want a bigger breast. But I'm not about to get on implants. Don't worry. I don't care about that. That, that, doesn't, that don't concern me. That don't concern me. That don't concern me. Ooh. That don't concern me. Is that how you do it? How, how do the kids do it? You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm of a certain age. How does it go? That don't concern me. I'm making my own song. That don't concern me. Eh, eh, eh. That don't concern How do they do it? Eh. I don't know how they do it. Eh. So I'm going to do my own thing. Eh. I'm doing my own tin. Mm, mm, I'm doing my own tin. Mm, mm, and adding in the tin. tin, 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 tin. Hey, what are we doing? Let me tell you right now this waist is going to always be on display. You feel what I'm saying? The waist will not be hidden. 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 The waist will be on display. The waist will be on display. The waist will be on display. 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 The waist will be on 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 display. The display. The display. The display. The display. Yo. Somebody come get me. The rest of the song is not what I mean, actually. But remember how Jasmine Sullivan was like, Before I am this man, somebody come get me. Don't want to love me. I'm annoyed. Should I do this video tomorrow? There's just too much going on right now. We will bring the items and think. 13 seconds until what? You gonna shut down? Nine, eight. Seven, two, you got a nerve, one. So I ordered a new tripod because although I already have one of these, I actually have two of these, excuse me. I have one in the bathroom that I keep in the bathroom. Then I have one that I was using all around the house. Well, I decided, I'm leaning down because I'm gonna show you how I set it up. But I decided to get an extra one because I'm gonna leave one where I have my new minimal studio set up. And then I'm gonna leave one right here, which is where I normally shoot reels and pictures. So this way I'm not having to, cause there's a certain level that I like it to be right here. And then a certain level that it needs to be over there when I'm filming. So to make life easier, so I'm not having to take and extend and, and like collapse and do all this. I just got another one and it was on sale. So I love this one. I have a different one that I keep in my suitcase because when it's time to go somewhere, I'm not afraid now I'm gonna be taking stuff from home. I just like for my stuff to already be where it needs to be. So here it is. And this one is great because it can be used overhead and then you put the camera like this and then it can be filming you writing or fixing something or cooking, you know? Love that. 
So here's how it looks. And then these are the feet right here. It looks odd, but that's just how it Ooh, and then that's just how it collapses down. So here are the feet, and it can go just like this. Oh, let's see. I'm just putting it to the second, whatever you call it. And so this is how the feet will stand. I will open up, let's say, these two. It all depends on how tall I want it to be, but I'm gonna keep this one right here. And whenever doing reels and the pictures, this height is usually good. And then I, I tighten the camera from the back like this. This is the part that would come up and go over if I were to hook my camera here and then be looking down. So then I just keep it down here. This, because it's I have the same tripod, it is literally the, I can just keep, I just keep this on the bottom of my cameras so that I'm not having to change it every time I'm moving from a different room. Just, it's just standard. Okay, and then all I do is flip this and then put it on right here and then tighten it. Yeah, you hear me? And so here we go. And I do want it to be a little mobile, you know? So I just loosened it that way. Or you can just tighten it and then just gonna just stay right there. This is very close up, okay? But I purchased a 16 mil because I wanna be able to get more versatility out of this particular camera, especially if I'm gonna take this with me on travel. So I purchased another lens. Let's change the lens. Take off this lens. This is a Canon lens. So beautiful and small. And it's about the same size as this 16 millimeter lens, also Canon. Nice and small to keep the camera in its totality really small. So that when it goes in my purse, it can just be discreet. Oh my, wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute. I think this is a fisheye lens. I do not want to look like a fisheye. <laughs> oh my God, this is not good. Because I look mad uh thin oh no and that is not how i look nah son this is very distorted let me show you there are some lenses that do that automatically and i don't know what it is that does it but uh, let me lighten this up so you can see it better that is not how i look do you see this i look like an alien that is not how i normally look <laughs> Oh no, this lens is not gonna be it. I can't film like this. People are gonna think I use some kind of like face. Do you see that? I look like an alien. People are gonna think I did something to my video. I didn't do anything to this. This is not what I wanted to look like. Oh my God. Everything looks so like squeezed. Let me go zoom in and see something. Let me see what this looks like zoomed in. It's a 2.8, so it's not that blurred. The back, no, look at that. Look at me. Nah, that's strange. Nah, 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 nah. I gotta return this. Wow. Wow. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. There's no way. There's no way I can, I can, I can do this. Okay, that's the video. Let's see what it looks like on M for. Let's B. Let's B. M for picture. It's the same. It looks the same. It's just, this is dark. Let's let, what? Wow. It's so pulled back that it's, it has stretched everything. It has, it's distorted. Yeah. It makes my couch look so far away and it is not that far away. Oh, terrible. Okay. Note to self, I don't know the specifics, but this can happen. And this is, in my opinion, horrible. If I were to be using this to vlog, I suppose, but it's so distorted. I won't even use this to do a YouTube video. It's so distorted that it would bother me. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna use this tripod for my other camera. It's still gonna come in handy, but uh, the lens gotta go. I thought I had done something with this lens it's it's a good no for me it's a good no for me wow okay well there's that <laughs>